Hi guys, it's Bella Gemma Nails, and today I'm going to be showing you how to embellish this computer bag, and you can see that it is camo. It is a gray camo. I am obsessed with camo. I love the look of it, especially in a handbag. And although this is a computer bag, I am going to be designing it as a handbag. And what I'm going to be doing to this is I'm going to be embellishing the black part of the camo with hematite rhinestones. So for this project, I have a heap of rhinestones here in two different sizes, and I'm going to be embellishing all the black part. So as always, before I get started, I wanted to show you the features of the bag as well as discuss the dimensions. Now this bag, the base of this bag is 15 and a half inches across. At the widest point, it is 17 and a half inches across and it is 16 up top. Now the drop handle is six inches from top to bottom. And then the height of the bag is 12 inches. Depth is three and a quarter. So this, as you can see, is a very spacious bag. It has very firm handles. It has a zipper pull on the back with a little slot there. And as I said, it is for a computer, but it has enough space to fit whatever it is you need for your handbag. This handbag is from AliExpress. I did buy a wallet that matches it fairly close. However, this one is a green camel. And so this is what we're going to be working on today. Okay, so I have my larger rhinestones here and then the slightly smaller ones here, and I'll show you what I'm going to be doing. Make sure you wear your mask when working with E6000. E6000 is highly toxic. As always, place a heavy book inside so that you have a firm surface. Basically what I've done is I put a straight down the middle line of the larger rhinestones and then surrounded them by the slightly smaller ones. That way you don't use as many small ones and you can finish faster. Okay guys, so all the center is done of the front of the bag. Now we're going to move on to each side. I will be moving the book in order to have a firm surface. So just move it to the edge and begin. Okay guys, so the entire front is embellished and my camera kept dying a million deaths. So I finished it all off camera. I'm going to be embellishing the top squares of the straps here as well. Now before you get to the last row, you're going to make sure that they are completely symmetrical and you'll press them down. So set them and then press them. Now the bag is fully embellished on the front and then the straps here let dry overnight. Now I could just stop with the bag but because I'm a glutton for punishment I'm going to be embellishing the front and back of this wallet. Okay guys, so this is it for tonight. I am going to continue with the front side tomorrow as well as the back of the bag. So two days, one tub of glue, and 3,000 stones later, this handbag is done along with the matching wallet. So I did embellish the whole front of this bag, even the handles here. And if I flip it over, it's embellished. All the black part is embellished from side to side, front and back. Here's the back from front to bottom and then side to side, all the black part is embellished. And this was definitely a labor of love. It did take me a very long time. Now, 
let me show you the wallet because the wallet is equally as sparkly and I love it. So I wanted to show you some issues I've had with this bag. I didn't notice it when I first opened it, but then when I was working on it, I did notice that it has breaks in the material here. So this is not going to withstand the test of time. It has breaks on each side of the handles. It has cracks here as well. It has a crack here, 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 and here. So every side of the handle is cracked. I didn't examine it upon receipt because, well, I assumed that the handles were going to be intact. I was mistaken. I'm not putting the link to this bag down below. If you happen to find it on AliExpress, you can buy it, but just know that you are going to probably get a bag just like this one and it will break, especially if you're going to use it as a computer bag. Guys, so to be able to protect against further tear, I did lay down a strip of glue and then I put rhinestones over that. Once it hardens, it should protect a bit from further tearing. I will be putting glue on both sides, this side and the back side on both handles. That should help a bit. Every aspect of the bag is intact and it is nice except for the handles and that is a big deal. Now, for added drama, I will be adding this chain and it is a pewter color and it has an eagle and the eagle claws. And this chain reminded me of the eagle on the American flag. And so I wanted to make sure I incorporate that on this bag. So what I'm going to be doing is clipping it to the side and then clipping it to the front of this part here, or you could even clip it to this part here. So this bag just looks beautiful, especially with this chain. And I also bought this adorable Frenchie to hang on the side of the bag. And you could see it has a little zipper here. I guess you could use it for, I don't know what you could use it for actually, but it's adorable. It has a studded collar and I'll be dangling that alongside here. And so that is the finished bag. I hope you loved this design. If so, please make sure you pop a comment below or thumbs up the video or do both. Thank you so much to everyone for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.